Rolling from Tempe with a Tostitos Fiesta the ball. Up next. ABC Sports proudly presents exclusive coverage of the national championship game. It's the grand finale of the Bowl Championship Series. The smokescreen is part of the entry for the Miami Hurricanes, and there is no suggestion they need mirrors. They are the defending national champions of college football and have in mind becoming the first back-to-back -back winners in the Bowl Championship Series. The Canes averaged 47 points in the first five games of 2002. Then they needed some serious luck against Florida State to stay undefeated by a foot. Another escape against the Pitt Panthers who would not go away until very late. Canes by a touchdown. And finally, the track meet against Virginia Tech marked by the awesome foot speed that is the trademark of the Miami team. 12 straight wins and believing they can repeat as the national champion. It's called the Horseshoe, down by the Olin Tangier at the Ohio State University. It's home for the Buckeyes, winner of 13 consecutive games in a single season for the first time in 112 years of playing college football. Six plays made their season at Cincinnati, at Wisconsin, and against Penn State. And then these three. At Purdue, fourth down, 37 yards, Quenzo to Jenkins for the game's only touchdown and a 10-6 victory. Overtime at Illinois, third and 10, Krenzel scrambled 14 yards, leading to the touchdown that produced a 23-16 win. And finally against Michigan, it was Will Allen intercepting a Wolverine pass at the two-yard line that saved a 14-9 victory and a 13-0 season. Like Woody used to say, Anything easy ain't worth the damn. As day merges in tonight along the Sonoran Desert in Arizona, the setting sun almost daily renders out the complete color spectrum. The giant swaro cactus standing as a sentinel on the horizon. This is the game for the championship of college football. And this is the Circuit City BCS trophy that goes home with the winner very carefully. And this is where the Bowl Championship Series started four years ago in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Tonight, the defending champion Miami Hurricanes and the Ohio State Buckeyes, the only undefeated teams in Division I college football after the 2002 season. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. And as we come to the real grass field here, which is Sun Devil Stadium, home of the Arizona State University Sun Devils in Tempe, Arizona. It is also where the Arizona Cardinals will play. And in future times, maybe next year, whenever they can get it done, there will be a new stadium at Glendale. Here's your kickoff. Seavers hitting it. Maurice Hall and Chris Gamble waiting. And it goes deep into the end zone and will come out to the 20-yard line where the then if Miami, in fact, can be patient. We've got a penalty flag before the first snap. And Krenzel comes walking to the sidelines, looking at him. And they're going to get a five-yard penalty for having 12 men from the 15-yard line. Here's your first snap of the ball game. Krenzel turns. Gives to Claret behind the line of scrimmage. Stop cold at the 13-yard line. The Tostito starting lineup, backs and receivers. Running back Maurice Claret, true freshman, ran for 1,190 yards. Split in Michael Jenkins has been a big play man all season. The offensive front. Now here you find some trees. Tackle to tackle, they go 305, 355, 310, 312, 310, all of them juniors. Rob Sims, a good start ahead, uh, and we'll play some ahead of Ivan Douglas, the regular tonight at offensive tackle. Claret 
Maurice, a pair of them. Claret and Hall in the backfield for the Buckeyes. Crimson looking to throw. Pulls it down and takes off. He hits the 20. Goes to the 24-yard line before he is brought down by Sean Taylor. The defense along the front, Miami, not as big as some, but so quick, hard to sustain your blocks on them. They don't look for a draw. The down linemen look for a body. Linebackers, Jonathan Vilma, leader of the group, 119 tackles. D.J. Williams, 100. The defensive secondary has stepped up. No seniors here. One, eye, one guy will catch your eye. That's that big free safety, Sean Taylor, at 6'3", 220. These people like to leave their fingerprints on you. It is third down and six. Frenzel with good protection. Very good. Can't find anybody to throw to. Running out of time. Gets it away down the sideline incomplete. Hold your breath. Here's the punt. Nugent hits it. Uh, Andy Groom hits it. And it is Roscoe Parrish on a brilliant kick. Cannot get to it. It is Parrish lingering back there. Andy Groom's punt was a 56-yarder. And the Hurricanes start at the 20. Back quickly goes Dorsey. Down goes Dorsey. Knocked off balance behind the line of scrimmage by Big Will Smith. Keynes on second down and 13. Give it to McGahee. McGahee gets to the 15-yard line. He runs into big old Matt Wilhelm, and down he goes. Another loss. The Tostito starting lineup for the Miami backs and receivers. They are at the fore of this wave of speed the Canes offer. 212-pound Andre Johnson wide receiver may be the fastest on the field. The offensive front, there are three 300s here. Right tackle Vernon Carey the largest. He's at 340 or so, down from 375. And a Canadian, Brett Romberg at center, anchors the line. That was only the ninth sack of the season against Ken Dorsey. Three wide receivers now for the Canes as Dorsey goes to the shotgun and now coming back toward the, the line of scrimmage is Roscoe Parrish and a Wes Johnson ethnic Sands and Roscoe Parrish. Back goes Dorsey getting one block to help him out goes down the middle with it. The ball is caught by Johnson. Johnson is a big man at 212 pounds and he picks up a first down at the 35 yard line. Of that uh, Ohio State defense, A.J. Hawk replaces him down the sidelines. The pass is too long and into the crowd, incomplete, intended for Ethnic Sands and defended by Donnie Nicky. Let's have a look now at the Ohio State defense along the front. The tackles, Tim Anderson, Kenny Peterson, the tough guys. They don't understand giving up anything. The linebackers made most of the tackles this year. 6-5, Matt Wilhelm in the middle, leading the team with 111. He's already has one tonight. And the DBs, strong safety, Michael Doss, consensus All-American. That means everybody voted for him. And Chris Gamble plays both ways, offense, defense, special teams. In the last three games, each he had over 100 plays. Try that sometime. That'll take care of your waistline. Ball is handed off on a delay to McGay. McGay, he goes to the 40. And that'll do it. Picked up five yards. She goes back on the center. The pass is thrown to the right side. The pass is completed for the first down to Andre Johnson. He picks up another five yards to go with it. The ball is on the 49-yard line. For the first time tonight, my team is on the other side of the field. Dorsey is caught behind the line of scrimmage all the way back at the 45-yard line by Kenny Peterson, one of those big tackles we were talking about. The wide out goes to the top of the screen. That's Roscoe Parrish in motion coming back toward the ball. And Dorsey turns around, sets up the throw, goes quickly. The ball is caught. And wham! Parrish takes a lick from Gamble. For Chris Gamble. And good news for the Buckeyes. C. Grant is back in the ball game. Dorsey comes short to the sidelines. The ball's thrown a long way to the sidelines. It's completely to Kellen Winslow and in the melee Winslow will fight his way down to about the 44 yard line all right here's the punt by Freddie Capshaw who got to Miami from Rock Springs Wyoming it's going downfield down to the goal line ball rolls around Canes try to kill it and it looks like they did just short of the goal line and there's a huge hole over there's there. a big hole right at center he doesn't go up that hole he slides off to the right side the four yard line Second down and seven. Florette's going to get it. Bouncing to the outside. Looks for nothing and uh, finds nothing. There just wasn't any room. The Canes shoved the door closed in a hurry. Want to put it up. 
There it goes, and it is incomplete. It was intended for Blue Red. He's begging his case. He gets no answer. Yeah, that's that team up in Farnford area that's always undefeated. Here's a beautiful punt coming out of the end zone by Groom, and he will kill the ball at the 48-yard line. Change now on first down from their own 48-yard line. McGay looking for daylight. Can't find any. Mike Doss who was a consensus All-American strong safety this year. He thought about going to Sunday play, but Green, and you move Eric Winston, a tight end, in there at that blocking back position. And Dorsey, going back, will set up the throw, goes down the middle with it, the pass caught by Winslow, and he's all the way down inside the 25-yard line. So on first down, they go back to McGay. He's pinned behind the line of scrimmage. Out of the 25-yard line, a loss of two, and it's Kenny Peterson who gets there first for the Buckeyes. Looking down in 12 now for the Hurricanes, back at the 25. Dorsey looking for somebody, goes down to the corner and goes out of bounds. The pass is incomplete. So keep your eye on number five. Dorsey going back. Blitz up the middle, steps away from it. Ball's in the air. Pass is caught. It's touchdown, Miami. Roscoe Parrish. This is why Ken Dorsey has won 38 games out of 39 tries as a starter for the Canes. He manages the game well. Knew he had to call, use his timeouts. Been under pressure, been able to sidestep it, and that was a marvelous play. Todd Seavers for the point. It's good. Once Roscoe Parrish gets you on his hip, you are not going to catch it. Unless you're a thoroughbred. Keith Dorsey, six out of eight now for 94 yards. He's been knocked down a couple of times, sacked twice, but watch him move in the pocket. As he goes back, he gets pressure right up the middle, but keeps his focus down the field as Roscoe Parrish beats none other than the three-time All-American Michael Dawes. Watch the route. Just a pure speed route, Keith. Just like you said, if he gets behind you, he's gone, and that's where he is. All the way to the end zone. Donnie Nicky was the blitzer coming out of the secondary, a safety blitz for Ohio State. But he was picked off at the line of scrimmage just enough to give Dorsey that one step. Chris Gamble, and here's Todd Seavers kicking off. This one might, no, I don't think it'll go. Oh, they're coming with it. And uh, they get it to the 15-yard line, and that's all. From the 15, first down, Miami leading seven to nothing. And Pencil rolls to the right. Looking for help. Gets it off. Big downfield. Fight for position. And it is intercepted on the rebound by Sean Taylor. Chris Vance downfield under the ball. Two defenders against him. It bounced off one and into the arms of Taylor. Dorsey back, wants to go for the juggler right here. He goes to Johnson, and Johnson is up close to midfield. Miami 7 to nothing. their first down at their own 49-yard line. Dorsey turns and gives to McGahee, and again they take him down short of the line of scrimmage. It's Matt Wilhelm, second down and 12. Dorsey hands to McGay, and again he can't find any running room. Number 54, Tim Anderson grabs him and takes him down in a hurry. Out of the shotgun, Dorsey with time. Goes shopping and throws complete to the 45-yard line on the Buckeye side of the field to ethnic Sands, but that is short of the first down. And Chris Gamble is waiting for it back at the 10-yard line. And a low kick that will not be returned. It will go into the end zone. And one good run himself. So Krenzel hunkers down at first down on the 20-yard line. And here come the Buckeyes with the possession. They get a, a false start move on the right side of the line by the tight end, Ryan Hemby. Hemby is a youngster. He's just a freshman out of Cincinnati, and they think he's going to be a good one. Now, field position has been horrible for the Buckeyes tonight. Uh, they've got their footprints all over that fifth. Prinzel goes into the shotgun, pulls it down, and takes off. Looks like single-wing football. Easy. 
<laughs> and he'll get it out to the 20 yard line and we it's 20 second down and 10 the ball is out at the 20 and uh, gambles out of there as we get Hamby back into the game Here to play action uh, Krenzel's pass is right on the hands of Michael Jenkins and Michael Jenkins will pick up a first down for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Claret to the outside. Kane struck him down and get him right about the line of scrimmage. And so we finish the first quarter of play. It's Miami 7. And the Ohio State Buckeyes nothing. Well, here you are at the 31 yard line where it is second down and 10. That's the 32 yard line closer. And this one goes no place as Will Fork is in there in a hurry to Bill Jenkins with three wide outs for the Bucks. Time for Krenzel. Now he pulls it down, runs, goes to the 30-yard line. He was looking at the 32 for the first, the big to the right side. Andy Groom will punt it. And he shoots all oh, you. Boy, Andy has had some year punting the football. Harris runs back and fields it. Goes all the way back to his seven-yard line. Now he's looking for help and won't get it. The Buckeyes put him on his back at the 13-yard line. Miami Hurricanes are backed up for the first time tonight, starting at the 13-yard line. Dorsey pumps and lets it go deep down the sidelines for Andre Johnson, and he can't get to it. There's a penalty flag thrown back up here behind him. I don't think it involved. Holding on the defense. Yep. Wasn't much of a grab, but no, enough to get the flag. At that time he didn't, and here they are. First down up at the 23-yard line as Dorsey turns, hands to McGay, and he disappears into a crowd of folks right about the line of scrimmage. On second down and 10, Dorsey hands it off. McGay, he found some daylight this time, and he's got some size. He's too big. It is third down and four now. Short four, the pass is in the air, intercepted by Dustin Fox. He threw it right to him. And there's a turnover by Miami. The Buckeyes are sitting on the Miami side of the field. First down at the Hurricanes 37-yard line. The Buckeyes have done a good job affecting Ken Dorsey. They've sacked him twice tonight. Now Get some points on the scoreboard. Frenzel to Claret. Bounces around, finds a little bit. Wenzel pulls it down, takes off. Got some help. He's going to pick up the first down for the Buckeye. Near, near. Going to run it in the middle with Torrent. And Torrent wiggling around in the middle. And again, there's nothing there. It's nobody in the backfield. Play clock ran out of. So they'll give up five yards as they burn the clock. Prior to the snap, delay, it's a five yard penalty and remains third down. Right. So far, they've been held in check. Here's the quarterback going right up the middle with it. And he takes a couple of pops, one in particular from uh, the big old safety, Sean Taylor. Mike Nugent, who's had a very good year. They fake it. Andy Groom is the holder, Keith, one of the fastest Buckeyes, but they Didn't tried to run him on the right yep. side, and they came up short. Get their first down, and they lose the opportunity at three points. Miami comes back to the attack now from their own 17-yard line. Here's a penalty flag from across the way. As the Illegal formation on the offense. Illegal formation against Miami. The umpire, Steve Story, done. Negate. 15-17. Dorsey sets to throw it and goes to the sidelines. The pass is caught by Ethnic Sands, and that will be a first down for the Hurricane. Ball just short of the 30. Back goes Dorsey. Looking throws, and it is caught down the middle, and it is good to about the 34-yard line. Two from Ken Dorsey. Dorsey loops it downfield, way downfield and beyond anybody's. Third and six. 
Pass hummed, intercepted. Buckeyes had it. That's Mike Doss. 30, 25, inside the 20 before he's pulled out of bounds by Willis Begay. More from Tampa, Florida, 210 pounder and the fastest of all the Ohio State tailbacks. And he's got the ball. And he finds some room. That little slip and slide. No, mark it 12 officially. Second down and five. Krenzel gives it back to Ross again. And uh, there's no place to go this time. Easy. Special. Really special. Third down and five. Pass is thrown. Pass is caught. It'll be a first and goal to go for the Buckeyes. Mm -hmm. Ben Hartsock is in the ball game now as a tight end for Ohio State. And the ball lofted to the corner. No, out of bounds. Angle has come in at center. That's a tough place to make a substitution at center. Miami looked like they were offside. Yeah, I think uh, Vince Wolfert. Offside. Yep. The two yard line. Mango is still in there at the center spot. Frenzel gives it to Ross. Ross picking his way in that easy, melee, easy. and they roll forward into. Not quite. <laughs> Quarterback sneak. Touchdown. No, I don't think so, Keith. That's a one-arm signal by the Well, this guy on this side put that two means up. Fourth down. Now he's taking it down. So it's it's inches. That's fourth and a half a yard. The quarterback keeps it, and he's in there. <laughs> Craig Krenzel went off the right side of the center behind the guard and Olivier, and he got just enough for the touchdown. Oh, he really showed his toughness too, Keith. The holder is the punter, Andy Groom. And everything works. And we are tied at 7-7 with two minutes and 28 seconds to play in the first half. That's a great effort by Krenzel as he not only gets inside of McIntosh, but McDougal as well. Ray Johnson standing back there along with Jason Gathers now for the kickoff. And this is rooted. I mean, it's beyond the field of play. So here they come. Dorsey back. Has a roll. He's hit. The ball rolls loose. Beanbag goes down. Ohio State ball. Kenny Peterson knocked it loose. Barry and Scott recovered it. For Ohio State. Prinzel hands it to him and he's running in the middle for about four yards. The sent eight from the 12 yard line. Across comes number 94, William Joseph is the tailback or the single back. He's got it. He's got a touchdown. Alex Toponovic, the center, made it happen. We talked about just how punishing a runner he can be and how decisive now this game is being taken over by Ohio State at the end of this first half. A great run by Claret to get into the end zone with ease. Nugent will kick out of Groom's hole for the extra point. It's good. You have a minute, 10 seconds remaining to play in the first half. And the Big Ten champions have taken the lead. Ohio State 14, Miami 7. The BCS National Championship game at the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. With a minute and ten to go to the half. The kickoff. High, long, beyond the field of play. From the 20, here come the Kings. And they'll hand it off to Willis McGahee looking for the sideline. And he finds it about nine yards over the shotgun. They got three wide outs. Dorsey's got a lot of time. Comes this way with it, goes short. 
to McGee. And Willis McGee makes the catch for the first down. Move to Michigan. Dorsey turns, gives to McGee. He's looking for some daylight. And the Buckeye defense doesn't give him much time to go shopping. They should be second down and 12. The ball back on the 32-yard line. Dorsey again with some room to move and time to write a book. Throws it in the ground. Incomplete. Ball on the 32. Under center. Turns. Gives it to McGay. He's got some room here, but uh, uh, they've got him a yard short of the first down. And the clock shows 10 seconds and counting in the first half. Canes come up without a huddle. Trying to get one more play, and now they decide, and let's go to the clubhouse and see if we can sort this thing out. So at the end of the first half of play, it is 14 to 7, Ohio State leading Miami in the BCS National Championship game. Gathers and Johnson wait for it. The kick again will not be returned. Hard to get a run back against Nugent when there's no win. And Ohio State leading 14 to 7. It's McGahee with the first play. And slashing over the right side will get about three yards before Will Smith, who has stood tall tonight, makes the tackle. Second down and seven. Dorsey turns quickly, throws, passes, caught. First tackle missed, second tackle made. It's Roscoe Parrish. The wide outs, third down and three. Dorsey getting pressure, gets it away. Dumped it to McGay out of the backfield. Hammered, and it looks like he's a little bit short. Field and what he needed for the first down. He came up a yard short, and so they punted away with uh, Freddie Capshaw kicking it to Chris Gamble, who lets it roll around on the ground. And it'll roll dead at about the 27-yard line. Ivan Douglas is in there at the tackle spot now, left side for the Buckeyes as they have their first possession of the second half. Craig Krenzel gives it to Maurice Claret. He spins out of one tackle and will get a couple of yards, moving from the 20. A seven yard line to the 30 and was finally put down just short of the 32 yard line. Got it again. Going to the outside. Broke the tackle. Gets the first down. Gets up across the 40 yard line and he... movement on the left side of the line, Ohio State. Frenzel gives it to Claret and Vilma is right there. Get out now. And they go to the shotgun for Krenzel. Give him a little time. Pressure coming from the backside. Gets it off, and it's almost intercepted. Oh, my goodness. Krenzel deep. Down the sidelines. Gamble. It's down inside the 10 and fumble, but he is down. He's down at the six yard line. Alfonso Marshall. Caught him from behind. Frenzel keeps it. Throws it to the end zone, and it is picked off. Picked off by Sean Taylor. He threw it right to him. He had double coverage on his intended receiver, and no chance to get it there. And Claret Claret took it away the ball. Yes, he did, Keith. Maurice Claret with the play of the game, perhaps as Sean Taylor going down the sidelines, reminiscent of George Teague of Alabama stealing the ball from Miami a few years back. Ball's Watch in the Claret wrong hand. Rip. It should have been in the other side, shouldn't it? That's a great point, Keith. But did he really pull it away? The officials say yes, he did. Mm, close. Krenzel trying to force this one. Great read by Taylor as he comes back to take the ball away from Hartsock. And then with the ball in his right hand, exposes it to Maurice Claret right there. And in the judgment of the officials, when they hit the ground, Claret had more possession than Taylor. And so the Buckeyes are still sitting in the catbird seat down at the 28-yard line on the Miami side. Lydell Ross is the single back now as Krenzel drops and throws and delivers it out here and he took his eye off the ball and, Easy. and his 
not much there for that one as uh, Krenzel rolling around trying to get loose and run. Room holds. Nugent's got a big leg. He's kicked every one of the kickoffs into the end zone. Puts a foot under it. Plenty of leg on it. And it's good. And the Buckeye lead goes to 17 to 7. So one corner of the stadium gets very quiet here as the Red Roars and the Buckeyes lead by 10. They possess the ball, first down at the 39-yard line. Dorsey comes up throwing, and the pass is caught by Kellen Winslow. Pick up of about six yards on the play. Frame of mind. Handed off to McGay, and he's got a yard or two. Pretty heads-up play for a freshman, 19 <laughs> years old, to make that. <laughs> so, so, yes. Dorsey wants to go deep, goes down the sideline. The pass is incomplete, intended for Andre Johnson. He was a little short. I at the 10, ball squirted loose for a moment. What do we have? I think they have a halo violation, halo but violation. I'm not sure this is a good call. Carrying the ball, it's Claret. And from the 21-yard line, he's up to about the 23. He's in the shotgun, second down, and nine. Now takes off with the ball and breaks the tackle. The second one takes him down at the 25. That would be Jamal Green for 51 yards and a touchdown. And he's back looking for a receiver, lets it go to the sideline, has him. Throws it right on his hands. No problem with it. He's out of bounds. Then 56, 44, and 63 tonight. Got a little pressure there and didn't get all of it. And hooks it out of bounds. So that's his poorest punt of the night. Run it with McGay. Took a lick right upside the head as he crossed midfield and goes down at the 49-yard line. His defense is jumping around. Dorsey throws it outside and misses. It's Miami. So second down and nine. After that penalty. Down the middle. Cook. Winslow. Just a bullet down the middle of the field. And, and then you add the attitude. Good package. Run it, McGay, to the outside. They put him on the chalk at the 21-yard line. McGay, he is deep. Dorsey throwing over the head at the intended receiver, way over his head. Johnson was over there. Give it a shot, too. Quickly, in the middle. Caught again by Winslow. Very big possibility here. They throw it underneath. It goes to Winslow. And he's going to have the first down as he gets past the 10 yard line and gets stopped at the nine by C. Grant. McGehee to the outside. And looking to see if he hit the chalk, and he didn't. So he just simply outran him into the corner. So close to getting to the sidelines and going out of bounds, but carrying that 220 pounds with almost the speed of light, it seems, the time he gets in there. Well, he hits off the left side, doesn't like it there, and there is your speed of light all the way to the end zone, and it's not even close for Ohio State stopping him. And the kick is good by Todd Sievers, and it is now a three-point lead for the Ohio State Buckeyes. As Miami comes back to score the touchdown. That ball is kicked beyond the field of play. Prinzel sets him up and gives it to Claret. At the right side, he's got a yard, and that's all. Vilma was the first man to make contact. McDougal put him away. Claret all the way down the bottom of the screen. Shotgun for Krenzel, pulls it down, takes off. Seemingly had more room on the left side, chose to go right. At 
Gamble in motion. Pressure coming. Frenzel breaks away. Pressure's coming, chasing him down, and he's going to keep the ball and be taken down. Around the 13. He does. He gets some air under it. It's not his longest of the night, but it's a good one. And it's going to go dead on the sidelines and roll out of bounds, and it turns out to be a very good punt. Quick shot to Roscoe Parrish. 20. They run for it, and they get it with McGahee. And they had the coat to him because he was close to getting out of the puck. He takes the ball across the free to the 41. Up to about the free, close to 45. Second down and six. Quick shot again coming this way to Ethnic Sands, and that's another first down for the Hurricanes. And Dorsey puts it in the air. It's slapped down. Knocked down by Darian Scott. Mason gathers the man on this side. And now Dorsey's changed the play of the Ohio State crowd, and they're dominant, making a lot of noise. And again, he can't get his engine running, and he goes down about the line of scrimmage as Will Smith makes another defensive play for Ohio State. Shotgun. Dorsey a lot of time. Pass thrown in the middle. Pass is caught by Winslow. He's past the marker. First down, Miami. Dorsey again, a lot of time to the corner, incomplete. Running under it, short of it, Roscoe Parrish. Second and ten. Short tip. Whoa. My goodness, Mike Doss had one hand on it. Dorsey setting up a screen. They bust up the screen. I mean, they bust up everything. Will Allen coming like a truck. Takes on McGahee and takes him down. And the trainers are on the field in a hurry for Miami. McGahee is down. Here we have now a 54-yard field goal try Bus by Todd easy. Sievers. It's no good. And they lead by three points. And we're in the fourth quarter. Frenzel gives to Claret. And the Hurricanes jump all over him after a yard or so. Now as they flex a, a tight end. And it's second down. And Frenzel's pass short of the first down marker to Michael Jenkins. Jenkins drops his shoulder and pounds it and gets the first down. Taking his time. Pressure coming. Pass away, and uh, Wounded Goose goes down the field and falls incomplete. And it was Jonathan Vilma who leveled Craig Pencil. Not going to make it. Yeah, I guess they did. Barely. And Lorette fights for a couple of yards. Vilma on him. <laughs> Throwing. Bullet. Pass caught. 40-yard line, first down to Chris Gamble. Penciled in MVP for their season. 13-0 season. Claret wiggles through. <laughs> Second down and five. Oh, look, Claret gets loose again. He just kept pounding. He bounced one way, came back the other, and he's on first down. Go back to Claret. This time uh, it's Ross. Lydell Ross. And it's second down, 12. Frenzel lets it go down the middle. It's incomplete. And that's good. Uh, Barn shoot. Claret. Frenzel takes off. He's going to take some punishment here. He gets it down to the 25 yard line. Is the snapper. Boss kick! Missed it. Missed it. The best of all the BCS championship games so far. Down the middle. Ball thrown to Kellen Winslow. He might break this big. His legs are taken away up at the 35-yard line. He picks up a first down. This is Peyton slashing over the right side and going for at least five yards. Ohio State leading by three. Just missed the 42-yard field goal. A little short pass drilled again to Kellen Winslow. 
Run it again with Peyton. This carries. For the speed coming out of that position. Having a hard time with it. Ball is thrown out of bounds into the crowd incomplete. Shotgun, Dorsey. A lot of time. A lot of time. Finally lets it go down the middle. It's caught by Roscoe Parrish and the ball comes out. And Ohio State pounces on it. The beanbag is down and the Buckeyes recover it. It's Will Allen with another big play. Donnie Nicky and Dustin Fox combined to knock this ball out of the hands of Roscoe Parrish. Fantastic throw by Dorsey. Parrish just couldn't hang on as the Buckeyes secondary converges and knocks it away. And the Buckeyes may have dodged the bullet. Team is undefeated. It's Clorette. Finds a crack. Brought down by Maurice Sykes, who is from the 23-yard line for Ohio State. They need to hang on to the ball as long as they can. Prinzo gives it to Ross. And Ross is right about the line of scrimmage. As and 3.49 running on the clock. Pressure coming. Benzel steps away from it. Got a chance at the first down. He cut back into the middle of the field. If he'd gone to the outside, I think he makes it. Here, I'm not sure. He won't feel it. Oh, he got it. Miami shuffling the defense. Handed off to Ross. Ross skating around there, and he found a little room. Picked up close to three yards. Maurice Claret, the single back for Ohio State. Miami coming at him hard. And they wrap his legs after a yard. It's D.J. Williams. Shotgun. Frenzel. Keep coming. Steps away from it. Throws it. Oh! Almost picked off by the cane. But not quite. Went through their hands. And Chris Gamble went for the shoe top and didn't quite come up with it. Oh, he came real close to making this catch, yes, Keith. he did. The pressure there, that's Walter with the dive. Prenzel gets away, throws a good ball, nice and low. Let's check out Gamble here working against Kelly Jennings. Oh, little hold there, that should have been called. Boy, that is close to a completion. 26 was in his face. I think he probably had something to do with it. Taylor. And here's the punt. Andy Groom puts some air under it, drives it back to the 25-yard line. Here comes Roscoe Parrish. Harris getting to the sidelines, gets a block. And he's finally taken down all the way down the field at the 26-yard line. Another opportunity for Miami now in the closing minutes. It's Peyton bouncing into the middle and stopped. Pressure, hit, down, 30-yard line. Simon Frazier. Just to remind you, third down. And very long. Dorsey gets it away. Underneath it goes to Jarrett Payton. And Burton's Payton struggles inside the 25 to the 23. From 40 yards. Chris Harvey snaps. Catch our holes. But we're going to overtime. With all the flash bulbs popping in the stands, Todd Seaver squeezes one inside the upright. Great snap, perfect hold by Freddie Capshaw. And Seavers didn't think it was in doubt, but that sure looked like it might have been. <laughs> no, it sure did. Oh, my goodness. That looked like it was good by a foot. So we'll be back for the overtime in a minute. Three-time three overtime. Here's Randy Christie.
Dr. Karen A. Holbrook of Ohio State. Their teams are having at it. And this is Jarrett Payton coming to the right side. Like a regular game, you can make a first down. And here's Dorsey throwing complete to Andre Johnson, who has been very quiet in this ball game tonight. Third down and one for the first down. They run it. And Payton is knocked out of bounds at the eight-yard line. It's landed on Fox up here. And they give it to Payton. He fights his way down to inside the seven, maybe, before Matt Wilhelm wraps his big old arms around him. We're at second down and goal. Dorsey throws to the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> Kellen Winslow making the catch. There's a penalty flag, I thought, thrown by the back judge at the back of the end zone, but he's talking to the referee now. If anything, it would probably be holding. Pass interference against Ohio State. The Winslow catch is good yeah, he for the it, touchdown. Picked it right off the top of Will Allen's helmet, too. Seavers for the point. And he makes it. Again, if you... The Buckeyes will go to work from the 25-yard line. They're down by seven. Krenzel back throwing. Steps away from the pressure. Takes off with it. Going to run with it. And run it for five yards. Go to the shotgun. Out of his stance. False start on the offense. It'll be a five-yard penalty in the nine second down. Blitz coming. Pressure got him. Back at the 29-yard line, it was Jamal Green. Miami scored a touchdown in their first possession of overtime. Wendell's pass is thrown short to the ground. They go with three wideouts. We've got two protectors back there for Krenzel. Now one of them runs away, Claret. Krenzel steps up and goes to the sidelines, and that's good for a first down. Caught by Michael Jenkins. First down for the Buckeyes, just outside the 12. Krenzel steps in the middle, throws to the end zone. No. Intended again for Jenkins. Then I would be looking for Chris Gamble over the middle. He came off the field. Here goes uh, Krenzel. He's at the five-yard line, and he is hammered. Must score a touchdown to stay alive in the overtime. Krenzel sees a little hole. Now he slides out, and he throws. And it's incomplete. Claret's up there as a, as a wide out, too. The ball goes into the end zone, and it is incomplete. Intended for Gamble. Now there is a penalty flag thrown. Hold on. Hold the phone. Everybody comes running down on the field. you got to get off because there's a penalty flag thrown, and I think it's against Miami. And if it's thrown in the end zone, the ball will be placed on the one-yard line. First and goal. Glenn Sharp. Trying to cover Chris Gamble, and he may have arrived a tad too soon. Randy Crystal. Pass and Yep. Glenn Sharp, 31 on Chris Gamble, number seven. Oh, that's a tough call there. What about this angle? Bad call. Bad call. The left hand. I don't know if the left arm was there too soon or not. I think the ball got there before Glenn Sharp did. Well, he waved it incomplete and then threw the flag. Boy, Gamble had a chance to make the catch before contact was made by Sharp. So it is first and goal for Ohio State. They'll try to run it. And they're having a little problem with that. Early on, they get back to the line of scrimmage. Florette carrying it. Here's pounded in the middle. The legions will be diminished. Trenzo sneaking touchdown. So a kick will tie it, and we'll go around again. And Keith at center was a true freshman, Nick Mangold who led the way 
along with Bryce Bishop and Shane Olivier over that right side. Good patience by Krenzel to find a crack and get in for the score. Nugent for the point. No need to tell you anything about this. Just watch it. Down in the middle. Heads up play. Keith, Sean Taylor rushed the center. Fake like he was coming. And that caused a false start by Ohio State. And that'll back him up five. Part of the snap. False start. The the From the 15 yard line. On its way. Good. 77,502 in the attendance. And ain't nobody going home. You having fun yet, big boy? We're it up. <laughs> we continue. It is now 24 24, and we've got another overtime coming up. Ohio State will have the first possession. 24-24, second overtime. And this is Lydell Ross going to the sidelines and the Hurricanes run him out of bounds, but it's a pretty good pickup. One. Single back is Claret. Penzel gives it to him. He's looking for some daylight, and I'll tell you, there's some quick Miami people that got there that time. That was good at this time. Well, Prenzel will do it himself, and he just jumps right on the uh, hip pocket. Prenzel wants to pass, now does, and has it completed. Down to the five-yard line to Michael Jenkins. Yep. Second down from the five. Claret. Touchdown! Couldn't do it two plays in a row. He had Claret right at the line of scrimmage and could not make the tackle as Claret sidestepped him and accelerated through a huge hole and into the end zone. Here's your extra point try now for Mike Nugent. Oh, that snap was low and hard, but the kick was good. Handled well by Andy Groom. Check out the touchdown by Maurice Claret. Sometimes you got to make the first guy miss. Well, the first guy is going to be number 36, Maurice Sykes. Fine job by Clark. There's the broken tackle. There's the touchdown for Ohio State. The down block is excellent by Ryan Hamby. And then Florette staying low, keeping those legs driving, getting the six points. And he's carrying about 227 pounds, 28 pounds, when he goes in there slamming away. State leads 31-24. And it goes to Jared Payton. And Payton has trouble getting back to the line of scrimmage and in the second overtime by seven. Dorsey's pass incomplete. He was pressured. He was trying to get the ball to Kellen Winslow. And Dorsey may be hurt, Keith. He took a hard hit, and he's having a little trouble getting to his feet, but he's trying, and he can't do it. Get a first down. And Kud up back and throws, and throws the ball is caught by Hill, the fullback. I would say he would be the man. Dorsey's pass, good. They've got the first down. Down. Face mask, five-yard penalty. Game was sufficient for a That first puts down. him on the five-yard line. Dorsey throwing. In zone, no. Penalty flag. A little bit late coming. First and goal from the two. It's Peyton to the one. Dorsey throwing, tight in, missed him. Third and goal from the one. And it off to the fullback, Hill. And Matt Wilhelm stops him. Fourth down, the final play, unless they can stick it in the end zone. Andre Johnson, Roscoe Parrish. 
Kellen Winslow and Dorsey under pressure throws it incomplete the Buckeyes win C. Grant was the man who pressured Dorsey and now the party begins for the Ohio State Buckeyes they are 14 and 0 and they are the national champions of college football and they did it their way, Keith, with defense. Right down to the very last play. Brilliant call by Mark D'Antonio, bringing the corner blitz rather than linebacker off the corner and C. Grant forcing Dorsey to put up a prayer. The tough guy of the night, Prinzel. Craig Prinzel, quarterback, Ohio State. Threw the, ball, he played. threw the ball 21 times, only completed seven. He ran the ball 19 times for 81 yards. So the Ohio State Buckeyes have won their fifth national championship, their first since 1968, a 14-0 season marked by one breathtaking finish after another, and tonight was the same thing. Defense, 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 and finally Claret goes in for the winning touchdown in the second overtime, and 31-24 is your final score. So rest easy, Woody. The new man has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, we are set to present a little bit of hardware here on the floor for the Ohio State Buckeyes. I have with me up here the Tostitos Fiesta Ball Chairman Steve Harrell and Al Brew, Free the Lay North American President and CEO. And Steve, go ahead. On behalf of our 3,000 volunteers, and the families from Frito-Lay and Tostitos, we'd like to present the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl Championship Trophy to Coach Jim Tressel and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Coach, I'm gonna ask you to just slide a little bit to my right. Stand right here. You don't want to go too far away from this little piece of crystal. And now to present this sought after football on the pedestal, the Circuit City Bowl Championship Series Trophy, Alan McCullough, Chairman and CEO of Circuit City. Alan Hoyt, you got lost back there. Step right up, Alan. Thanks. Hey, don't jump, man. On behalf of all the men and women of Circuit City, and the American Football Coaches Association. It's my great pleasure to present the Circuit City National Championship Trophy to you, Coach, to your team, and to what appears to be all of Ohio. Congratulations on an extraordinary game and a perfect season. The ball is yours. I, I know you trust this football team, hey, Kenny, but you want them to be extra careful with that piece of glass. Congratulations on a tremendous victory, and you did it your way. Hard fought in the trenches. I tell you what, we are so proud of these young men. These 13 seniors. We've always had the best damn band in the land. Yeah. Now we got the best damn team in the land. I want to bring in Michael Dolph. Michael, come on over here. You know, on the college landscape, there are a lot of players who will look at those big dollar signs and decide they wanted to leave college. You stayed at The Ohio State University for just this very moment. You did it. Yeah. I believed in our team. 
12 months ago when I made the decision to come back. We had great fans, we had a great support, we had a great senior class. And my one goal, it was to win a national championship. I won a, champion I won a championship on every level since I was eight years old. And to come back and to get it done, I give all glory to God. And I thank the, be the best damn fans in the land. <laughs> okay, we go from the senior to a first finish. Maurice Claret. There's Maurice up here on the... It feels like everybody's up here. All right, he's not here. Why well, want Crenjo? Where's the Crenjo? He was here a minute ago. Here you go. Craig, congratulations. That was the guttiest performance when the running game wasn't working quite so well, when you couldn't get the ball down the field. You took the game in your own hands and on your own legs. Made some tough yards for your team. You know, that's the way it's been all year for us. We, uh, we have 10 other players on the field giving, giving outstanding effort every play. And, uh, you know, sometimes certain things aren't working and we got to go to others. And, you know, it's no different than what we've done all year. We, we made plays in the close games when we had to. Congratulations to you. A great effort by the Buckeyes. A great team effort. Maurice. A, a good job running the football tonight, but maybe the play of the game wasn't a run carrying the football, but going after the Miami player and stripping him of the football after he got the interception. Tell us what was going through your mind. I'd just like to thank Coach Spence, because Coach Spence always talking about when well, somebody have the ball and you uh, got to turn into a defender, always try to strip the ball. And uh, I just listened to Coach Spence and came through. Tremendous job. Well, that will go down as probably one of the great plays in bowl history. Championships of college football. The Bowl Championship Series on ABC Sports.